So greetings, Oaklawn, Illinois, also Hickory Hills, Burbank, Bedford Park, Evergreen Park, Chicago Ridge, Alsip, Crestwood, Blue Island, Harvey, Tinley Park, Mokina, New Lenox, Frankfurt, Madison, Chicago Heights, See here. Lots of great communities here. I come to y'all, all the beautiful communities here in south of Chicago. I'm a Christian evangelist. I come to you in the name of the Lord with a message repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. I'm here to call those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior to accept Christ and become a Christian today and be saved. And uh, it begins by repenting of your sins. This is not me talking. I mean, I'm just following the commands of the Bible to go tell others the good news and the importance to be of by the vital importance, the, the necessity of repentance and baptism. And I'm not going to baptize you in the water right here, obviously. But I will do a baptism in the Spirit. If you say the following words, and of course, with sincerity. So you have to believe, you have to truly believe what you're saying. And that will begin with apologizing for your sins. Not to me. You haven't sinned against me directly as far as I know. I don't know too many people in this community. I know some of the people at the Christian Reformed churches around this area. That's about it. But I'm not from here. So I'm just passing through. I'm going across America doing this. Do it every year. Trying to get a revival, a great awakening. You know, a little history, you've probably heard of the Great Awakening. Well, there's the first, second, third, and fourth, depending how you count. So now I'm trying to start a fifth. And uh, can't do it the old way where you just drive, drive into a town and set up camp and start talking and preaching. Cops don't like that too much. It's called disturbing the peace these days even though it's bringing the, the ultimate symbol and sign and hope of peace, real peace. Not peace, peace when there is no peace. That's a whole other story. I'm not a pacifist. And the Christian theology that I believe in is not necessarily pacifistic. We're called to defend others and ourselves from harm, and injury and death, of course. And uh, that includes unborn babies. So I'm definitely pro-life, traditional values. Greetings, Elsip. I don't know if I included that in my... Yeah, I did. Elsip. Entering Elsip. And uh, the Bible says everybody's a sinner. We're all sinners. You say you're not, you're a liar. So I'm asking people to acknowledge that sin. That's how you become a Christian. You have to first humble yourself. So if you're ready to say, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are now a Christian by virtue of your faith. It's your faith that makes you Christian. The baptism is a symbol, a sign, a ceremony. But it's important that you keep the faith. Most and grow in faith. Don't remain static. But you must grow. Go and grow. 
they said. Anyways, congratulations. I hope you uh, begin to grow in God and in Christ and learn more. Start to pray. Call, just talk to God. That's called prayer. Read the Bible. Have fellowship with others. And try to go to a, um, a church uh, that's more conservative than liberal. Beware of the far left. Beware of the left. Politically and and in the churches. Um, and then if you are already a Christian here in this area, I want to encourage you to keep growing and doing your best to fulfill the Great Commission. Don't grow weary of doing good. Your labor for the Lord is not in vain. And much more to tell you, but I can't say it out here now, so make sure you read the box below. And if you have any questions or for a free Bible, message me on YouTube. And I'll be praying for all of you. I'll be with you and bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.